Alright, now that I've had my snack, first of all, happy Friday. I'm done with my uh, first part of finals. I just have one more day of finals, and then I'm done with my sophomore year of high school. So, congratulations to me. Let's just jump in to this YouTube video. Alright, today we're going to be talking about my favorite Disney show. It's one of my favorites. I think it's one of the best shows that Disney has ever produced. And I think they might be, like, one of their best, if not the best. Have you heard of Andy Mac? Now, I was in middle school when this show started airing. I was in 8th grade. And I thought it was, like, really good from the start. And I lost track of it for a while, for uh, a part of 2017. But I got back into it when Season 2 started, and I have been... So I've been a part of the Animatic fandom, and so I've, I, I've been watching this show ever since season two. Like every time it aired, uh, I never missed an episode. Animatic is a 2017 Disney Channel. All right, no, 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 no. Ah, blah 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 blah. I got it out. Blah 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 blah. I need to. Blah 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 blah. blah. A B C D E F G A A E I O U A E I O U A E I O U. A to Z, A to Z, A to Z, Z to A, Z to A, Z to A. Blah, 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 blah. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, my boobs. Alright. <clears throat> Andy Mack is a 2017 Disney Channel comedy slash drama. As your usual ensemble cast of stars in a normal kids show, it stars Peyton Elizabeth Lee as Andy Mack, Joshua Rush as Cyrus Goodman, Sophia Wiley as Buffy Driscoll, Asher Engel as Jonah Beck, Trent Garrett as Bowie Quinn, Leon Bowden as Bex Mack, and Lauren Tom as Celia Mack. The series was created by Terry Minsky, who created another critically acclaimed children's TV show, Lizzie McGuire, which ran from 2001 to uh, 2004. While accepting the award for Television with a Conscience at the 2018 Television Academy Honors, Terry said, I consider Andy Mack to be one of my greatest achievements. The show itself is critically acclaimed and for good reason too. I need to pace myself. The thing I love most about Andy Mack, oh my god. Like, I need to stop like reading from like a script and start speaking from my heart. This show is my favorite Disney show. Um... Technically, I'm still growing up, and I grew up with it from my last year of middle school and up to my first year and this year of high school. Um, and I love the show. I love the drama. I love the comedy. I love the actors. I love the plot, all the storylines. I love all of it. And I don't know. I'm so blessed to have grown up with it, to have been around when it was airing. It's really a great show. The characters in the show are amazing. Honestly, it's underrated. I like to think that a lot of people watch it, but it's kind of underrated. Like, you, no one mentions it. Like, all right. A lot of people mention it, but not, like, the amount we want to. It's not going to reach, like, Girl Meets World stardom. We don't have as many as viewers as um, they did. Andy Mac, Andy Mac doesn't have as many viewers as Girl Meets World or prob probably any other Disney show before. Seasons, seasons one, two, and three are amazing. Uh, I don't think there's really anything wrong with them. And the show is a godsend. And we have to praise Terry, we have to praise Terry Minsky for creating these wonderful characters. And we have to praise the actors for portraying these wonderful characters. 
We have to praise the writers for writing these wonderful storylines for these incredible, unique people. Yeah, they have more stuff going on in middle school than when I was in middle school. I'll tell you that. Well, I'm going to tell you why you should watch Andy Mack. And if you are, continue watching it because it's going to be sad as Josh and Luke, who plays TJ, have teased several times that we're going to cry during the series finale. Oh my god. Ay Dios mío. Um... I'm reading off of something I made for my um, my English class. I had to present this a few days ago. So, and this is kind of true. So, what does Andy Mac try to achieve? In a modern TV world, bombarded with inclusivity, things start to get a bit repetitive. Why is the show unique? Why does it get so much praise? Well, let me talk to you about the Andy Mac pilot. Nope, I'm not going to do this. All right. So let me talk to you about the Andy Mac pilot. The show's pilot, 13, starts with Andy getting excited about her 13th birthday, which is the next day. This means that she's in 7th grade middle school. She's hanging out with her best friends, Buffy Driscoll and Cyrus Goodman, who she has known since 2nd grade. Her sister, Bex, comes home unexpectedly, and their mom... Celia isn't too happy to hear that Bex is officially moving back home. Andy helps Bex settle in, and Bex teases Andy about her crush on a boy named Jonah, who's in 8th grade. Bex arranges for Andy to take frisbee lessons at the park with Jonah. Hold on, I'm sorry. Bex arranges for Andy to take frisbee lessons at the park with Jonah. Andy thinks she's doing horrible, but Jonah makes sure she's fine. He actually takes a liking to Andy pretty quickly. Andy is happy until his girlfriend, Amber, who's in ninth grade, shows up. Andy leaves the park feeling embarrassed. Bex feels like she's already ruined things, so she starts to pack up. Andy feels bad and tells her not to go. Bex reaffirms that this decision is for the best because she screwed up before. Andy doesn't get what she's hinting at. Bex then proceeds to drop the bombshell that she's not Andy's sister. She reveals that she's Andy's mother. This means Bex had a teenage pregnancy when she had Andy. The show immediately became groundbreaking for even showing that on it. Sorry. The show immediately, the show immediately became groundbreaking for even showing that on Disney Channel. Andy even says the line near the end of the episode, "Stop! It's too weird. You're my mother who abandoned me." I would personally say that it's one of the best pilots of a Disney Channel show. Despite its TVG rating, Andy Mac actually achieves a lot more than most other shows on Disney or Nickelodeon within its first three seasons slash 50 episodes. Andy Mac's achievements makes this show on the higher list for Disney TV shows. It's actually one of the highest rated Disney Channel TV shows on IMDb with a rating of 7.3 out of 10. Ooh, that was a mouthful. <sighs> now, if most of you aren't aware, most of the major news that has come out uh, of Andy Mack is that Cyrus Goodman, one of the main characters, is gay. So, and they've they've had three coming out scenes, including one where he explicitly says the word "I'm gay." So, congrats to the writers, to Terry, and congrats to being the first person to say gay in terms of sexuality. On any piece of Disney branded media, so yay. So Cyrus's storyline in season one, I feel like a lot of people could tell, but um, Cyrus develops a crush on Jonah. Of course, everyone else is oblivious to this until so the season two premiere, "Hey, Who Wants Pizza," in which uh, Cyrus comes out to Buffy technically. He doesn't really say anything explicit, but Buffy kind of figures out where he's going with his conversation. So yeah, he like he liked he liked he liked like 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 the he liked Jonah. He liked Jon he liked Jonah. Um but he was just glad that he would but Cyrus liked Jonah, but he was just glad that he was friends with him, so. Uh, 
And in season two, we get introduced to TJ Kippen, who is captain of the boys basketball team at Jefferson Middle School. Um, <laughs> I ship Tyrus so hard, guys. I'm a Tyrus shipper. My favorite ships are Tyrus, Bexy, Muffy. My favorite crack ship is Ambi because I know that's never going to happen. And we all know J&D will be endgame. Unironically, it will be. Um, but yay for them. J&D shippers, I guess. Um, anyway, continuing. As we progress through... Uh, as we progress through Season 2... We see, we, we see TJ hang out with Cyrus more after their initial encounter in There's a Mac in the Shack and in Miniature Golf, in which TJ helps Cyrus get a muffin, and TJ and Cyrus hang out at the swings, but that's where we get swings, swing sing. So we get swing set scene number one. Oh my god. Um, by the end of season two, Cyrus tells Buffy that. His crush on Jonah is gone, but like Buffy, t- by the end of season two, Cyrus tells Buffy that his crush on Jonah is gone, but that it just changed to friendship. So that means that you know who does he have a crush on now? In the season two finale, the cake that takes the cake, TJ does a look back at Cyrus. The look back, as Amber explained it in season one is if someone looks back at you, that means they like you. So TJ looks back at Cyrus, and Cyrus is like, oh my god, I'm confused. Ah. In season three, they all hang out even more now. Uh, in the Cookie Monster, no. In Cookie Monster, Cyrus and TJ are doing dirt bike riding with TJ's friends, but one of TJ's friends, Reed, brings a gun and Cyrus feels unsafe. Cyrus uh, tries to convince TJ to leave with him, but he doesn't, which you know, causes, which causes a little rift in their friendship. And Buffy and Andy lose trust in TJ for a while. Um, by episode seven, the new girls, TJ makes up with Cyrus, and we get swing set scene 2.0. You can be kind of annoying, you know that? Or you can be... You can be kind of annoying, you know that? Or you can be oblivious. Or you can be kind of judgy. Or you can be intimidating. You know what else you are? What? The only person that can talk to you like this. Ah! Oh my god. Um, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I shipped them so hard. Um... So as we progress even more to season three, until the most recent episode, um, Mount Rushmore or less, TJ is on good terms with Cyrus, Andy, Buffy, and Jonah. But then Kira, this, oh my god, I hate her so much. Nobody likes her. She can go die with Miranda and Morgan, okay? Um, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was so mean of me to say. Nobody likes Kira, but she makes TJ doubt himself. So she comes to find TJ at the park later in the episode, and she tries to convince TJ to do a costume of her because it's Jefferson Middle School's costume day. And he repeatedly tells her that he's going with Cyrus. So then she says this. Oh my god, I hate her so much. She says this. So you'd rather do a costume with Cyrus than with me. Okay, have fun with that. Like, what? What? He literally just met you yesterday. What? Oh, my God. But then, TJ gets scared. So by the next day, he's not going in a costume with Cyrus. He ends up doing a costume with Kira, which makes Cyrus cry. Because we kind of see him cry, but barely. <laughs> That's where we are right now. Oh my god, I said I would talk about Andy Mac, but I just talked about Tyrus plus Andy Mac. That's basically everyone, though. Um, that's that's all everyone ever talks about when they talk about Andy Mac, honestly, though. 
No, which shouldn't be the case most of the time, because it's a good show, but I understand because a lot of people, this is important representation in children's media, and a lot of people would have turned out, and a lot of people would have appreciated this when they were younger, and a lot of people do appreciate it now, so. So on April 24th, Disney Channel announced that it would not renew any Mac for fourth season. You know what that sounds reminiscent of? <clears throat> 2017's Girl Meets World cancellation. <clears throat> the T. The T. Um. <clears throat> no. No. Yeah, that is T. Um. But it's June, and it's June 14th. That means a week or seven more days until we get two new Andy Mac episodes, episodes 14 and 15 of season three, and then we will get an episode each Friday until the series finale on July 26th. So I encourage you all to watch these episodes. Tune in if you have cable, you know, Xfinity, DirecTV, Dish, Sling, YouTube TV, whatever. Tune in every Friday at 8 p.m. Except... Next Friday, June 21st, we're going to get two episodes from 8 to 9 p.m. So, yay. Ah! ah. No. Um, I'm excited, but I'm scared, and I'm sad. That's a fat move. Um... <clears throat> Why is everyone teasing that it's going to make us cry? I already know I'm going to cry, but still, I don't... Supposedly... No, why am I saying supposedly? So what? Asher, Luke, and... No, it's four people now. Lelon, Asher, Luke... No. Wait, no, it's four people now. Asher, Luke, Josh, and Lelon have... All said that the last few episodes are really good and that we're gonna cry. (laughs) Why? Like, here's the thing I know I'm gonna cry, but like, why do you have to tell me? I don't, don't tell me that. I wanna cry on my own. I know I'm gonna cry, but still, right? (laughs) Andy Mac, don't leave me, please. Yeah, I think I think that's all I wanted to talk about. Andy Mac Fridays. I think all right. So, here's the deal. He's the dealio. Nope. Uh for good I said that. Um <laughs> cringe. What am I cringe? No. What am I doing? What's all this hand movements and things? I don't know. Um I think I'm going to be doing Andy Mac reactions to the last seven episodes. Because I didn't do it to the last three seasons, but oh well. Yeah, alright. Ooh, no, 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 no. This ended up being 21 minutes long. I need this, I need this to be, like, shorter than that. Um, I'm definitely splicing down a lot of this. Oof. Should I talk about any of the other ships? Any of the other things? No. Uh, you know, I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna talk about it. Jonah experiences panic attacks, and right now, his family's in the middle of a bankruptcy, so pray for Jonah, guys. Uh, Amber is still going through financial issues because she works at The Spoon still. Which is a diner type restaurant where all the kids usually hang out and eat. Baby taters and milkshakes. Buffy. Uh, she has a mom in the military. Pat Driscoll represent. No. Um, but she seems to be fine right now. She's just dealing with Marty stuff. Andy. Uh, she's suffered a lot. A lot of people call Andy annoying. But honestly, that's how 13 to 14 year old girls act like. And also, she's been through a lot. So, like, come on. Hypocrites. Um, 
<clears throat> what am I going to talk about next? TJ has dyscalculia. And he and Cyrus, who uses self-deprecating humor to hide his depression, which I'm not sure. I'm, does he have depression? I don't know. He makes a lot of self-deprecating jokes a lot. But he's pretty funny, and he's awkward like me. I'm cringy, too. Um, so subscribe to me. Thanks. Um, leave TJ and Cyrus alone. Terry 2K19 challenge. Hashtag whatever. Um, I, that was a whole mess of words. I don't, I don't know what that was. Bex and Bowie, they've got their relationship together. Yay. We stand. CC is just CC, but we like her anyway. Marty from the party. We like him, even though I don't like how he said, I didn't go underground, and basically said it was Buffy's fault for not calling him sooner, which I mean. Which I mean, what? I know. We forgive you, Marty, but be better. Be better, please. I think I talked about all the main characters. Now, here are some honorable mentions to the people who left us early. Iris, she's a cute little bean. And if Cyrus was straight, they would have been perfect for each other. But he's not, he's gay. And I wish Iris could have, you know, stayed friends with him. But for plot reasons, she was written out of the show. Walker, they did him so dirty. They never resolved the problem. Andy, not Andy. Buffy just left him like that. Libby, oh my god, she was the cutest. She was only on the show for two episodes. But uh, she's deaf, but she was cute. And she was very confident. And she was kind of like Andy. In a way, I think, yeah. Parallels, that's the thing with Terry Minsky in the show. Parallels, everywhere you look. Parallels, parallels everywhere. Um, ignore all of what I'm saying, please. <laughs> now, I think I've talked about this show. Yep. Before, it was just Tyrus, but now I included all the main characters. We went full circle. Um, is there anything else to say? I don't know. Honestly, I, for one, am going to miss this show so much. Why? Disney Channel, you fools! Move it to Disney Plus or Freeform. No, not Freeform. They canceled Shadow Hunters, and I'm pretty sure the Shadow Hunters fan base don't. I, I guess they don't talk about that. Just like how we barely talk about our show's cancellation, but guess what? We're going to move it to Disney Plus or ABC. Please, ABC. Please, Disney Plus. Please move it to one of those. Disney, please. For the Andy Mac fandom. Who have done nothing but praise you this entire time until you cancel the show. Alright, I think this video is going to come to a close. It's almost 28 minutes in. I can't have that. As Luke said on Josh's life, it ain't it sis, that ain't it sis. So yeah, uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment below. You're not obligated to do any of those things, but I'd like to see your feedback, especially people who watch Andy Mac. Please tell me your opinions on what you'd like to see the show do before its series finale and what you're going to miss, what your favorite moments, everything. <laughs> I need other fandom people on my channel. All right. 
Oh, follow me on Twitter at Nor- uh, no, no. Follow me on Twitter at official Norman R. I'm active on there. And I tweet a lot about Andy Mac as well. And I retweet and I stand Josh and Sophia and Luke and Asher and Lilon and Lauren and Trent. But Peyton doesn't have a Twitter, but she has an Instagram, so I stand her there. All right. I think that's it for this video. Please just ignore all the cringy things I said in this video. It's going to save me a lot of trouble. <laughs> all right. This was cringy, but I like it. And I got to talk about my favorite show, which you guys should all watch. You ca- You cowards. Watch the show. Tell me what you think about it. The show is also so easily bingeable. So, that's another plus. Alright, I think I'm officially... Ow, my eye. <laughs> I think I've been blinking too much. Alright, so that's it. Bye. Oh. Alright, bye. Uh, I'll see you next time. I don't know. Ah, my eye. Ay, mi pinche ojo. Por qué? No, I'm just joking. Yo no hablo como así, pero... Soy guatemalteco y soy hispano, so... Alright, bye. No, this... Bye.